so um, what was it like you arrived on in, in on a Thursday and you returned on a Tuesday And so, you, you, you basically had your first morning there on Friday morning. Yeah. And then it was, but it was non-stop from when I got there. Non-stop. There's always something to do, people to see, a place to see. There's always... Always something to do, but never a hurry to get there. Oh my God, what a beautiful description. Always something to do and not a hurry to get there. I love it. And so, what was the food like? The, well, the food there... Well, I, I heard a rumor that... And the more you eat, the happier they are, right. basically. Yeah. Um, so I did my best to indulge and uh, beat that expectation. And uh, from what I heard, uh, there were there were comments about it from others that were not fluent enough in English to say it directly to me. Um, and there were also comments from Mario about how much I ate, so I felt like that was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I even had, even had one person look at me as, as I was going for probably my, my third serving, because, you know, I don't want to disappoint anyone. And she said, you're never coming to my house. You're never coming to my house. Oh, that's funny. So, uh, what would you say is that was one of your highlights there? You did Old Havana, I guess. Yes. Yes, did Old Havana. Beautiful place. You can tell the potential that they are slowly, slowly working to put it back together into what it should be. Well, it's, it's yeah. just amazing. Well, as a historian, you probably were walking, you probably knew about some of the places you were walking on. Some of them, some of them, but you know, the, the history of Cuba is long and complicated. 